Hi, in this video, we will have a look at how to create an email and assign a category, then send the email. This is all using Graph API. Okay, so let's start building the flow now. So here for the demonstration purpose, I am using the manual trigger here. The first thing I'm going to use here is the action step, which is HTTP. So I'm going to go to the office connector office 365 users send an http request here it is okay the url we need to use here is we need to send an email so that's the url uh, so me means it's it's the account it is going to authenticate from my account my outlook account and send the email okay the operation we want here is the post and click on the show advanced option and select the body here then the request of the body so the request of the body it's going to be look like this so the message that's a message here then the subject then the importance then category here see that so this is what the main focus here is so how to assign a category and send an email so that's the category lunch meetup then the body content type is uh, mail content and then the body content and then the two recipients you can here have more than one also yeah that's an array so you can see that that's the structure we want okay the next thing uh, is i can add a compose and see what's the body of the action step is going to look like so i'm going to add a compose this is not necessary but i'm just going to add that compose here to see what it's going to return okay the out input the dynamic mapping is coming from the previous output and it is so this is about send email with category save it okay let's test this flow now okay flow ran successfully you can see the combos output here and yeah it's used the client request id there and there are some internal um, you know um, attributes also and the date also date yeah okay so let's have a look at the email now so here here you can see it's under my send items and uh, there's a category also there okay so this is a technique you need to use for sending the email out and uh, assigning a category so we can only use the you know http request there is no out of the box outlook connectors which are able to do that assigning a category when we send the email out okay so what i found out is i have used this send request so i'm going to use there is another way also you could do it that is using the azure one also okay so for that you need to use azure here and then look for the azure http one um, right okay i'm going to use the pre-authorized one that's the connector i want here all right again it's the same thing with the post then url of the request that is you can copy from the previous one send email that is that then again the body I'm going to copy the same thing from the previous step the body is here it is and then um, try to run this so I'm going to delete this so you know that you know we we can use the office uh, 365 connectors to send an HTTP request using the graph API okay uh, let me delete this let me save this first then delete the other step okay so i'm going to delete this step now that's gone okay so try to run this and see what's going to be the result like so compose okay uh, we don't need this so i'm going to delete this also all right save it
Okay, so you can see like, uh, you know, the flow, it says it's failed now. The reason for the failure here is you need to go to the connections. So go to the connections here. Right, under the change connection, select that. And then add a new connection. Here it is. So what we need to do here is we need to set the base URL as graph.microsoft.com and also the AD resource one. So both need to be the same URL here. Then click sign on. It will ask you to authenticate again. So I'm going to use my username there. Okay, that's done now. So click save again. Then we can test the flow. So this is using the Azure AD or pre-authenticated connector, okay? So this is where we authenticate um, or, you know, using the connection, new connection, then, you know, give the resource and the Azure one ID there. Oh, we got again the same error. Let me have a good look here. I'm going to switch back to the old designer now. It's easy to find some of the things. So let's go back to the old designer now. Okay, let me try it again. I'm going to go to the new connection again here. So let's go all the way down, add a new connection. Copy that. Graph.microsoft.com, sign in again. Okay, that's done. And the post, same thing. Yep. So it looks good. Let's see. Save the flow now. Then test again. Click on test. Manual. Click test. Continue. Run flow. Done. Oh, okay. Let me investigate this. Why it is. okay so i don't know what happened there it's second time it started working now i haven't changed anything at all so given the post then that's the url we need graph.microsoft.com the version is important here then me slash send email send mail uh, then the body yeah again uh, you know you need to click here add the new connection and specify the base resource url as that and then the, this one also again and then authenticate again okay so that's the technique we need to do here for sending the email or sending the categories here it is yeah then another thing is i did try uh, there are other http also here like office office 365 groups and uh, uh, so let's uh, let's take that office there are two here groups email and this so i took office 365 groups email one and then send HTTP version 2 here. I thought that might be a good fit as well. So I tried that, uh, but I, it didn't work tag, or work tag as suspected. So let me try it again. So I'm going to use the same thing, using the post, and going to this, uh, the body, the same thing. Oh, here it is. So let's test this. See, that's failed so it says it's not a graph endpoint that's what it's saying i don't know why um so if somebody knows please uh, you know uh, put some comments in the section please and uh, again i i did try uh, using the this as well the office this is why groups email and they use this that didn't work also and um, another one more thing is i did try the outlook code connector i thought that might work so send an HTTP request here. Again, it says graph this one. That didn't work either. So um, you know, I can show you that. So I'm going to put the same thing here and use the post, deleting this because it didn't work. We know that. And then going back to this, copy that, paste that here, click test, run. So it didn't work either. So I don't know whether it got anything specific in the add new connection. 
no nothing there see that there's nothing there to specify any resource id or anything no so i don't know what it is so anyway we know that this sent email the graph api one it works with the azure id pre-authenticated connector and the office this one office 365 users and then http one these two guaranteed it is working okay hope it is useful thank you for watching